Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are in the village, and, uh, well, when I last left them, there were two villagers, um, a librarian, luckily it was this guy, who sells us the mending for one, um, so, yeah, <laughs> we definitely like this guy, uh, he's got a lot of really good trades, um, Right, like, written book, one written book for an emerald, um, one ink sack for an emerald, 19 paper for an emerald, stuff like that. Really good. We had that guy, and we had this leather worker that sucks. I bred them together, I got a farmer, really luckily, and now I've just spent more time over here. We've gotten a couple more, um, uh, villagers, and the reason we've gotten quite a few... Uh, iron golems. I think there's a third one over here. Somewhere. Yeah, there he is. The reason we get a bunch of iron golems is because they consider... Um, they have to see an iron golem as well as a zombie. Like, it's got to be within their vicinity. Um, in order to not spawn an iron golem. Right? So they got to see a threat get scared, and then be like, oh, I need to spawn an iron golem. Let me check for iron golems around. So they'll check, and then if they don't see one, they'll spawn one. But if they do see one, they won't spawn one. And since this village is actually pretty large, a lot of times we'll have an iron golem, like, go clear over there, and then it won't be spotted when one guy down here, you know, sees a zombie. It won't be in the vicinity. Uh, and then you'll spawn, they'll spawn another one, and then you got another iron golem. So now we have three, randomly. Um, and if you didn't know, that's also how, uh, how most, um, iron golem farms work. But yeah, now we've got a couple of these master villagers that sell, uh, or that buy, you know, pumpkins and melons and carrots and potatoes and stuff like that. So, yeah, we're doing really good. Now let me show you a few things that we've done uh, while we are over here. So we've done this thing, which is our um, snow farm, to say the least. Uh, so basically what this does is you can either farm up with a silk touch the actual snow blocks, right? These things, which is real nice. Or um, if you use something that doesn't have silk touch, you can farm up the actual... Um, snowballs and then with the snowballs you can make lots and lots of snow now why do we need snow well we're going to fence these guys in using some snow so we're going to use a whole bunch of snow we're going to go all the way around we probably won't even complete it in this episode but that's kind of the plan for today's episode is to go around this village to give it enough I guess, breadth, breadth, enough breadth, no, that's not the right word, what's the word I'm looking for, enough, I guess, space in between the village and the, uh, hey, look, there's a chicken, time to die, I don't need any of that stuff, <sighs> um, basically, what we want to do, let me rephrase this, is, See how I've started lining up these trees and setting up these trees? So basically, on the outside of the village, we're going to create essentially an ice slash snow wall um, that will basically be a cage for our villagers. Because why would this castle come to this village? Why is it that Dracula decided this is a good place to set up shop, right? You can clearly see the castle off in the distance, right? Um, oh, I need to tear that down too. I'll do that eventually. But the reason for that is because these villagers are going to be... Uh, for us as Minecraft players, they are going to be our source of emeralds. Um, I'll actually show you how many emeralds I currently have. Got about a stack. Uh, and then some of emerald blocks, which is pretty good. I need to uh, repair that as well. Um, 
so just just through trading and stuff like that mainly through the pumpkin and um, melon trades so that's real nice um, but yeah they're mainly going to be our source of emeralds as minecraft players but uh, also our food source with golden carrots that's what i'm going to switch into because uh, it's the best food source in the game so there you go uh, but in terms of the lore of this world dracula slash the vampires they moved in to this area because it was nice and secluded from the rest of the world right there were no cities there aren't any other vampires nearby nothing like that right uh, and so it's this nice icy biome right vampires love ice it's nice and you know you're gonna get snowstorms and stuff like that which allows you to go out more often because it will be overcast and what do vampires eat why humans of course so we're going to cage them in make them basically a food source I'm gonna spruce up the village uh, make sure that they've got nice houses a uh, nice place to live we'll also make a um a iron golem spawner um and iron farm basically uh, so that we can get infinite iron and poppies and stuff like that and yeah that's all going to be this is basically going to be our next project i know that i said originally we were going to go to the end and do stuff in the end but we got to do this first um hopefully i can do this by episode 100 but yeah that's the plan that's what's going to happen we got a bunch of dogs let's start building oh right guys welcome back so i have completely encased encased is that the right word is that the word i'm looking for uh surrounded we'll go with that i've completely surrounded the village in our uh our wall of snow um and i'll probably add in some ice bits as well uh to it i actually thought that i would need more snow but i didn't uh, but as you can see, we dec I decided to keep in the most most of this little lake here. Um, but, I mean, it's frozen. So, there's only that tiny bit that isn't. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, then we got, it goes all the way around here. We'll just fly around real quick. Up a little higher. And I'll show you. See, it goes all the way around. And all of this forest that's around the edges is basically there to kind of mask the fact that it is indeed a... Um, a wall. Like, there's a wall. So, the forest is going to basically envelop this entire village right so we're gonna have uh it go all the way around however it's going to be very obvious and very clear from the outside that there's no forest and that some of it's artificial and that it's there simply to hide the wall because on the outside over here we're not going to put any trees it's just going to be on the inside um and it's basically just there to hide the the wall right um so like we're probably gonna put more trees in here and just kind of densely pack it uh the problem is that i have run out of saplings like i have zero saplings left um so i actually have to grind out more saplings and get some more of them um but yeah i mean like there we'll probably add more trees here uh, I mean, we're, we'll obviously add more trees back here, but just like, we're just going to fill it with trees and it's going to, it's going to look good. I'm also probably going to change out some of this, um, and pack it in with some ice as well. Uh, just some regular ice, maybe some packed ice, probably no blue ice, but, um, yeah, uh, we may, we're, I mean, we're going to tear down a lot of these houses and stuff and build newer, better ones that aren't igloos um that are more like this 
and I'll come up with some templates uh, basically that we'll do like I don't I don't like that house but I think it just needs a better roof um, but yeah we'll we'll do a few of those things so yeah uh, then we have uh, we have the forest that goes all the way around and honestly let me show you um, probably the best section which is right back here it's not currently uh, covered in snow but right back here is probably my favorite because you can kind of see the wall, but it almost looks like it's just more of the frozen wasteland until you actually walk into here and then you realize, oh, there's... Hold on, I, I kind of ruined this. Oh, there's actually nothing. It's just a wall. It's just this f huge forest covering up this massive wall that goes all the way around. Uh, and I think that should add at least a cool aesthetic to the village. Um, but yeah, stupid useless leather worker. <laughs> uh, oh, finally, oh my gosh, we got a guy that sells freaking wheat. Oh my goodness, hold on. <laughs> so uh, all of the guys, all of the farmers, which is mainly what we are going to be selling with, um, they start out with a few trades. And I'll actually show you what I did uh, as well, because uh, I realized that I didn't show you. Um, but some of the trades that they can start out with is the... Uh, sorry, the wheat trade, the potato trade, the carrot trade. Um, and so those are the three that they can start out with um, in terms of trades for emeralds. And then you have uh, a few other trades that they can also start out with, such as selling beet or purchasing beetroot and then um, selling bread uh, and stuff like that. But they're almost always guaranteed a potato, a carrot, or a wheat. And thus far, what I've gotten is... I think I've gotten like three different villagers that all just sell potatoes and three different villager or and like one villager at the very least that sell sells carrots. So like that guy sold potatoes, that guy sells carrots, potatoes, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now I got to find this guy again. This guy, for, for some reason also, there are a few of them that aren't like the winter variant of the guys of the villagers oh we also got another librarian heck yeah he wants flat he want why 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 do you suck why are you the worst why you have a book on your head i just realized what the heck anyway potatoes ah here we go so yeah this guy selling Wheat is real nice. Now I can actually sell my wheat. Not just have you. Oh, I stole your potatoes. That not what I wanted. Um. <laughs> whoops. Um. So cool. We can put all of this in here. We'll make a block. Put it away. Cool. Uh, so the next thing that I need to do is I need to light up the forests. But l real quick, let me show you uh, these things that I have over here. I showed you the snowman, but I didn't show you what this is. This is... I don't even have... Wow, I'm bad at this. I'm bad at showing you guys what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, hold on. So this is how I've been getting my carrots and potatoes. So, uh, a while back, we actually started a farm for, um, an automatic farm for carrots and potatoes. It was more of like an AFK farm that was really quick, uh, but it did use up a lot of bone meal. We'll probably also make an automatic, uh, a straight up automatic farm, uh, as in, hello? What the frick? How are y'all empty? What the heck? y'all empty oh what the oh 
Hold on. Let me fill these up real quick. But um, if you guys remember, we actually had a an automatic farm, basically this one, in our castle. But it was underneath, because we originally thought that we were going to put all the farms underneath. Um, but I decided to change it and put all the farms up above. And now uh, I had to, I moved it over to the village where we would actually be using it, basically. Why is this... I'm not even clicking on this, and it's showing me that one for some reason. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. That's what this little uh, building is here. But yeah, so now I just need to make sure that I light up all of the inside the walls. Um, now with that being said, even if I do light it up, I will still have monsters spawning within the, uh, the village because of the zombie siege mechanic. I don't know if that's actually still a thing, but I think it is. Uh, where basically mobs, or, or specifically zombies, will still spawn within the village. Oh, I do have saplings. Um, so, uh, even with, you know, the light level being too high for mobs to spawn, or, you know, not having mobs have a spawnable block. They will still spawn within the village because or during a zombie siege. So, yeah. Um, now, what we're going to do to light up the forest is we're going to hang... Oh, we can't. I was going to hang a bunch of the... Uh, this is never going to happen, right? It's depressing. Hey, we finally got a tree. I was going to hang lanterns around, but now that doesn't really make sense, does it? However, I wonder if with the new chain, oh, with the new chain block for 1.16, I wonder if I would be able to use that instead um, and actually hang that on leaves and then hang a lantern off of that. Because if that's the case, then we'll probably end up doing that. What the heck? Grow. Why are you the way that you are, tree? Hello? Tree. Hello. Grow. What the heck? It just had to be that tree. It, it was just like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm determined to be this tree. Okay, cool. So yeah, we've got a lot more trees to plant all around in order to eliminate vision of the fort or the wall. I almost called it a fortress. So yeah, we're going to do that for the next couple of episodes. We're going to work on this. I'm still working on, let me actually show you real quick. Uh, the progress that has been made over here. Um, I haven't done too much in terms of internally, um, but I did end up finishing up the entire front half of the castle all the way around with the... Um, well, except for, I guess, right here. I haven't quite finished. Um, but the majority of it is finished. Uh, for the landscaping part. That's what I was talking about. Uh, all I need to do now is I need to finish up this section. Kind of... Uh, I don't want to get rid of the river. That's not exactly what I'm looking to do. Um, however, I do want to blend this hill into this part right here. So we're going to kind of take out this section of the river. And actually, one thing that's pretty interesting is I kept this little section underneath as water. Um, so we'll have kind of like a secret way into into the underside of the mountain, which I might I might do something with, um, but probably not. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll put something under here because I always 
I've always enjoyed underground builds. Um, the dwarven aspect of it. But yeah. So, that's it. That's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as the rest of this playthrough, just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.